Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to another CCA Security Version 5 Technology course. This time, we will take a look at Email Security Appliance, ESA. I am Peter Kolusne. I will act as an instructor for this course. We will take a look at several different aspects of the ESA and associate the topics. Throughout this series, you will understand and learn about some of the commonly seen email threats just to know how bad people may try to compromise our organization using emails as a communication channel. A very important topic that we will spend a lot of time on is going to be looking at the ESA operations. I want to make sure that everyone knows what's the purpose of using ESA, of deploying ESA in a network, what is the order of features and engines that ESA will apply on incoming and outgoing messages, and what components of the ESA are going to be eventually involved in message processing. We will of course also focus on configuration, verification and troubleshooting of many of the basic and advanced ESA security features. Specifically, we're going to start our discussion with simple mail transfer protocol. This is going to be needed to understand the basic structure of an email message and also components of an email so you know what type of information you can potentially inspect or just look at with the ESA. I'm also going to show you the different types of ESA platforms that we will then perform initialization or specifically in our case it is going to be reinitialization of the ESA. So I'm going to show you how to deploy ESA for the first time, how to configure the basic settings of the appliance. I'm also going to discuss email processing, the order of features that will be applied on incoming and outgoing messages. Then we're going to move on and take a look at host and recipient access tables two major important components of the ESA and next I'm going to make an introduction to ESA policies and policy engines so we know what type of inspections can be performed on emails. Then I'm going to discuss most of the policy engines one by one along with some of the configuration examples to finally finish our discussion with message filters, one of the more advanced features available on the ESA. I'd like to say thank you everyone for watching this short introduction and I hope all of you guys join me in this course. Thank you.